Hello, I am Milka Jagle, working as assistant professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. Today we are going to study about introduction to block diagrams. So let's see. Learning outcome. At the end of this session, students will be able to understand the basics of block diagrams in the control systems. So these are the contents. What is block diagram? Why block diagram is used? Block diagram fundamentals. Canonical form or standard feedback form of a control system. Advantages of block diagram. Disadvantages of block diagram and references. So coming for the question, what is block diagram? Block diagram is a pictorial representation of the system. Any system can be represented in a sequence of operations which are organized by the interconnecting the blocks. The block diagram represents the relationship between input and output of a system. The complicated systems can be completely represented by connecting different blocks. So, the question arises why block diagrams are used or where we use this block diagrams. So can you please uh, think about where these block diagrams are used? Let's see. In most of the practical systems, it is very difficult to analyze the entire system. So there is a need to break the system in small parts. So when the system is breaked or it is broken into a small parts, then it can be analyzed very easily. So to analyze such complicated systems, block diagrams are used. The blocks in the systems represent the physical system. Every block is known as a functional block. So the blocks are arranged according to the sequence of the operations to be performed in the control system. So I hope it's a clear where the block diagrams are used and why they are used. So let's see block diagram fundamentals. So before going further, so I just want to focus on what are the elements which are present in the block diagrams. So let's see. First is block diagram. As I have already said before, it is pictorial representation of cause and effect relationship between input and output of a system. Here, figure 1 shows the block diagram. So, it is a block which, is represent, which represents the physical system. Input signal is given to the system and the processing is done and the output is given here. So, this is nothing but a block. Now, second is output. The value of output is multiplied to the value of block gain to get the output. So let's see what is the formula for this. Output is equal to gain into input. So what is this gain? Gain is nothing but the value which is present over here. That is value which is present in the system. So that is nothing but gain. That gain multiplied by input is nothing but output. So we will see in the further uh, slides what actually gain means. Now, next is summing point. Summing point, the name itself indicates it's a summing point where, mo where more than one signal can be added or subtracted that point is known as a summing point. If you see here in figure number 3, it shows a summing point where there are three signals are present coming from here that is positive signal, this is negative and this is one more signal. So in this, at this location of the summing point, two or three or more signals can be added or subtracted 
which are going outside of the block now next is take off point take off means we are taking the point in this reference it means we need to take the signal from the system and we need to give it back or we need to give that signal to some point else now if you see the definition of take off point the point from which a signal is taken for the feedback purpose is called as take off point so you see here black dot in figure number 4 is a take off point so this is output this is signal from the input side and this is take off point this take off point is shifted according to the requirement of the block diagram construction the main aim of block diagram reduction is to convert a complicated system into simple or single block so that we can analyze it very easily next forward path forward path is nothing but the direction of flow of signal is from input to output this is input r of s is input and c of s is output the direction of flow of signal from input to output that is from r of s to c of s the signal r of s goes to block g1 and that gain is given to then g2 and then this is the output the signal flow from r of s to c of s is known as a forward path as shown in figure number 5 next feedback path feedback means we are taking the signal and giving it back to the input that is through summing point as i told here signals can be added or subtracted according to our requirement so in this the signal from the output is feedback to the input so as to get a correct output so this is the feedback path next types of feedback just now we have seen forward path and feedback path now there are types of feedback that is positive feedback and negative feedback what is this positive feedback means positive feedback is a feedback with a positive sign the signal is added here you see the plus sign is there the signal is taken from output and it is given at this point this is nothing but positive feedback if you see in this diagram you see the feedback is negative that signal from c of s is taken and then given back to input that is at summing point it is given back and then it uh, forwarded to the g block so this is the negative feedback i hope uh, these are clear now next any feedback system or any control system can be simplified and it can be solved for that you need to convert a complicated block diagram in a simple canonical form what is simple canonical form or simple form or canonical form it is nothing but a loop which consist one forward path one feedback path one summing point and one take off point it completes a loop so this is what a canonical form is known as a system is given with n number of blocks when these blocks are reduced to a single block which consist one feedback one forward one summing and one take off if these four are terms are there then that is known as canonical form control system or feedback control system so if you see this is a summing point if you this is a summing point this is g block this is h block this is a take off point feedback is given here both i have given this is uh, just take it as plus or minus that is positive or negative this is error signal this is feedback e of s is error signal b of s is feedback signal r of s reference signal and c of s output signal if you see in the next slide this canonical form is converted 
into simple block this feedback system can be converted into single block that is this one g of s h of s can be converted into single block that is g of s upon 1 plus or minus g of s h of s now the positive sign should be taken if there is a negative feedback and negative sign should be taken if there is a positive feedback so if you see from the this derivation so it is proved that if there is a negative feedback we need to take positive sign while solving here and if there is a positive feedback we need to take negative sign so this is the overall uh, derivation that is to how to simplify a canonical form canonical form i repeat it is nothing but one summing one take off one g block that is feedback path and one forward path okay now what are advantages of control system as a very simple to construct complicated systems function of individual element can be visualized from block diagram it gives information of individual as well as performance of the system by using transfer function shown in the block diagram disadvantages of block diagram block diagram for given systems are non unique source of energy in the system is not given in the diagram in the procedure of reduction of block diagram some important functions may be omitted or hidden there is no check for it the block diagram does not give any information about the physical construction these are the disadvantages of block diagram these are the references thank you